family alone and uh, without a job, you, you tend to become uh, a roaming hobo, ultimately. And uh, so I ended up at St. James. They gave me good help. Uh, they were a good family environment. And, uh, well, it, it, it creates a sense of reassurance. And uh, that helps people, you know, go through the difficult times. And that's the most important thing. You know, people, they gain a sense of uh, uh, self-assurance. And uh, as a result, they could function, go through the difficult events of life. That's part of a documentary about the St. James Drop-In Centre in Montreal. It's located in St. James Church on St. Catherine Street, but is independent of the church. It's a special and important place for a lot of people dealing with homelessness, mental illness and addiction. Along with meals and clothes, the centre provides people with art. Bernard Rassico is the centre's creative arts coordinator, and here's, he's here to talk about what they do. Now, the art, I'm sure, is very, very important to people, but this centre is really, it's just there for them, whatever they need, right? I mean, they can come in and want to make a phone call, might want to sleep, watch some TV. It's important eat clothing uh, take a shower and just have somebody who listens to them who's being there with them yeah. and they they take the time at uh, in during the daytime and they go to the art room they, they do whatever they want but there's somebody there for them it's yeah. a community actually and you've been there nine years so nine years yeah you must see how important it is well I see it and it, it's an ongoing process because when I started I uh, when I started going there, I said, I'm going to help these people and I'm going to be there for them. I'm going to be the big brother. And along the way, I've noticed that I've changed and mm. they, they made a big change in me. So we're all together yeah. in that now. So now I'm, when I, I'm with them, I'm learning from them and they're learning from me. So we're all there together. Yeah, you yeah, call them your people now. Eh? It's my people. It's my, uh, it's my community. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's great. How does art help them? Well, I'm an artist too. I'm a painter, so it's a, uh, it's a, it's something for me to express myself. So for them too, they express themselves with the the paint brushes, music, because I'm a musician too. So we have music workshops. So it it, it gives them a, a channel so they they can express themselves. So the art room is a platform to do the the paintings, do, do the relationships. So it's a platform for us to get in relationship with them. Mm -hmm. So and they can through art they can get a relationship with themselves and it's all about also self-esteem mm -hmm. they, they do a painting people like it they sell it oh i'm somebody mm. oh it's new it's quite new so it, it it's an ongoing process that we're having with them tell us about this painting well it's stephen i've known stephen for well nine years because he was there when um, when i started going at the center we call him our van gogh stephen is um He's living in a mental ill home, so he's coming to the center. That's the only place he can go during the day. Mm -hmm. He's coming, sitting in the art room and said, can you give me some red, some green, some yellow? I want to paint. So, okay, Stephen, we put, him the, we put the paint for him. He's just sitting and he's doing the, the wow. painting. And it, it's amazing the thing he does. He doesn't talk a lot but he, he, he's a painter. So he produces paint and when he's, he finished, okay, I'm finished now, he just leaves the place and go back home. Kind of cool. Yeah. In a way. How about this painting here? Well, it's still Stephen. It's a painting that uh, tells us about, uh, it's about a homeless people who's on the street. And that's his, we see his art in his eyes. You, you, you can see the, the, the loneliness and uh, his emotion. So for Stephen, still, it's a it's a opportunity for him to express himself, express his loneliness, because he's quite lonely. Mm. He has a good friend who's Vivian, who sits with him sometimes in the art room, and they talk a lot. And so that that's pretty much Stephen. This one. This one. It's a, it's a detail from a painting from Michel. Michel is a good friend of mine. I've I've known Michel for twenty years. And I was working before as a sign painter with Michel 20 years ago. And we lost contact. And, and I have saw him again uh, last year in, in the Eaton um, Center. How are you? What's happening with you? And he told me he's on the street. Mm. And I, I don't want to make a long story, but he, he's on the street now. So we got along and said, come to St. James. So he was a bit afraid at first. He, he was just coming and he wasn't sure and he started coming at the St. James drop-in and doing painting again and his eyes have changed mm. uh, now I see lights in his eyes and he's, he produces a lot is this him as well? <laughs> that, that's him as well and Michel is colorblind 
So it, that painting, ah, it, it, it's flowers. And I said, okay, uh, we're having an exhibition. Uh, that's a painting or a flower pot. How do you want to call it? He said, flowers with a green pot. I said, Michel, the pot is yellow. Mm. Oh, he said, yeah. I, I knew it was colorblind. So, and he sold that painting. Bernard Rassico is a creative arts coordinator at the St. James Drop-In Center, which is located in St. James United Church on St. Catherine Street. They'll take donations of cash, blankets, exactly. art supplies, whatever you have. And uh, you can come and visit the artists as well, Bernard. Yeah. Thanks for talking with us. Thank you. That is our show for today. To check out past episodes, log on to globalmontreal.com and click video. I hope you enjoyed the show. Happy and safe holidays to you, and we'll see you next time. This program is available in described video.